Shani Luke's brother wants to take us to the spot where they shared so many conversations. I guess it's one of the hardest parts I will go through. Where she made him laugh, feel and think. The last time her family heard her voice was on the phone, trying to escape the Nova Music Festival. She said, yes, we're going on the car. We're leaving right now, don't worry. And, and she didn't know where she's driving through. And what we understood, the terrorists were waiting in the, in the, in the roads. They are just waiting in the roads for them to come out of the party and not them just go inside the party. Then came a video that shook the world. Her body face down and half naked in a pickup truck. I never thought for myself I'm going to be in contact with this type of video, seeing my sister in that brutal position and just... And, and in that moment, the whole family just crashed for a few moments, but we know we have only one way to get her out of there. And we just pressed every way for us to get her back. Unfortunately, the images of Shani were seen across the world. That's an impossible trauma for a brother to go through. It was so hard to actually see this brutality, even though in our countries we know that they can reach to this level of non-humanity. We knew it, unfortunately. So when I saw it, I wasn't so surprised, but I just feel like someone kicked my family just in the head, like they just spit on her and treat her like she's such a no nothing. She means nothing for them. And, and actually, I, I don't want to put effort, energy inside it because it's all hate. It's all hate and hate are continuously to another hate and another hate and it's a loop of hate. And, and this is why I, I don't put my energy in it. If I will put my energy in, it, in how, how they hurt us, I, I can lose my, myself in this uh, war of feeling. And, and there is nothing we can do to actually pay for what they done. I had a feeling that she's maybe not with us, but we couldn't give up. We couldn't let this give up and with how much it hurt, we got to keep moving. We got to get another piece of information. But this week, a knock on the door and news that a fragment of her skull had been found at the festival site. The family believes she was fatally shot in the head. It's been obviously a horrendous few weeks. How are you right now? When, when you see soldiers in the house, you know bad news is going gonna, is gonna to come. So I had this feeling where I'm going to get told something so bad, but in so many ways I feel, I feel good to, to know this, to know she's not, not there, not suffering anymore. And, and this is what, this was a really important part in the in the goodbye. But one thing they cannot do yet is bury her. Unfortunately, as a Jewish, we, we need something to bury and we don't have enough particles to bury. I don't know if we're going to wait for the body itself to come for us to bury it like it should be or we just do some really memorable with the subject we have what are you thinking right now about the future of relations here? The kids in Israel are not going to forget these few weeks. Every 13 years old kid opened the telegram and seeing every stuff his family or his friends of his family been through and there is not enough psychologics to, to be in this event. There is not enough people to cope. Yeah, to cope for this. What was she like as a person? And what did she mean to you as a brother? 
she was artistic in every way, in the way she was talking, in the way she was moving, in the way she's danced. There was no dark side, only pure, 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 pure angel. And at least I know she went through this whole life without being a bad person for a second. And it is her life, not the manner of her death, her friends and family once shared. Her joy, her wisdom and her kindness, a spirit that will never leave them. <laughs>